Half-Life. It's a game we have probably all played already. You're familiar with its corridors, its look, and its feel, and most of us who played through it multiple times already are probably very familiar with its gameplay at this point as well. And this becomes a problem because at some point you just kind of want to play something a little different, but you're not really in the mood to play a total conversion mod. You just want to play the original game, but um, different in a way. And that's why the Half-Life reworking scene exists. You currently have several mods in development that aim to enhance or rework certain elements of the original Half-Life. One great example is of course Half-Life Extended, which we covered on the channel before almost a year ago now. Today I'm going to talk about another one of these mods called Half-Life Enriched, which also aims to improve upon the original game, but in its own little way. Lambda Federation. Let me start off with the basics here. Half-Life Enriched is a modification for the original Half-Life developed by Jesus. Jesus? Uh... Jesus? I don't know. A longtime video game modder from the Netherlands. Wow, blijkbaar kunnen wij Nederlanders er ook af en toe wat van. Ben blij om eindelijk een keer een mod van Hollandse bodem te behandelen. Jesus announced the project's existence in February of this year and has updated the project a fair few times already. In fact, since February there are a whopping 18 articles on the project's ModDB page. He has even uploaded 13 different builds of Half-Life Enriched. Madness. Now that's... That's a lot of stuff to go through if you want to learn more about this mod. Luckily though, Hesus made a brilliant introduction post last month that goes over pretty much everything you need to know about this mod. So let's have a look at that, and we'll have a look at the latest alpha build later. Half-Life Enriched promises to be a rework of the entire set of Half-Life single-player maps to be larger and have more details. It will still try to retain the original look of Half-Life, just... enriched. One way the mod improves on the graphical quality of the original Half-Life is by AI enhancing the textures. The original textures for Half-Life were 128 by 128 pixels, but the newly upscaled versions are twice as big, now being 256 by 256 instead. Not only that, Hesus also added a detail overlay for every texture in the game, giving them a sharper and more detailed appearance once you stand close to a wall. This sort of effect was used in the original Unreal games too, for example. And more close to home, Half-Life 2 has this detail layer as well. And because of the textures now being higher resolution, the lighting will scale to be higher resolution as well, as this is how Gold Source apparently works. The lower the texture scale, the sharper the lighting and shadows will become. And spoiler alert, this looks pretty good in game. The weapons will also see improvements and texture upgrades as well, bringing them slightly more up to date without screwing too much with their original aesthetics. You'll also find that character models have more variation to them now as well. More scientists now wear glasses, there is more variation in the skin tones of security guards, and much, much more. It's pretty refreshing to see some of these character models, to be honest. The mod promises as well that it will massively cut down on loading screens in the game by 60% by merging certain maps together. Not only will this improve the flow and immersion as you'll be stopped way less now, but it'll also open up various new gameplay possibilities as well. And then I haven't even talked about what I find to be the most convenient feature of this mod. The chapter select screen. Hell yeah. You can now select the chapter you want to play straight from a pretty cute looking in-game menu. No longer will you have to load the first map of a chapter from the console. And the best part of this all is that the mod will support all official versions of the original Half-Life all the way back to the 1 days. So you can, in theory, play this mod on really old hardware and software and have a pretty decent time with it. Do take the original Half-Life's minimum system requirements in mind though. In this introduction article there are also some FAQs that you can read, like when will this mod release fully, or is this going to be on Steam, and more. It's a really good introduction article in case you want to learn a little bit more about this mod. Now, let's have a brief look at the latest alpha build, shall we? So, yeah, it's basically Half-Life, but with all of the improvements that we discussed before. 
It's not lying about those things at all. The AI enhanced textures are definitely present and the extra detail layer is a welcome addition too. The lighting is something I especially like though. The shadows seem much more defined than they ever did in the original Half-Life, giving the environments an extra layer of depth. And the glow effects from the lamps also seem to be slightly different. The variety of different scientists and security guards is also a welcome addition. Especially the security guards lacked variety before, the only different security guard model canonically existing being Otis, but he won't appear until opposing force, technically. One other thing I found really impressive out of all of this is that the loading screens have indeed been minimized to what seems to be the absolute minimum. The train ride, for example, only had about one, maybe two loading screens in it. That's usually way more. I've also noticed that indeed some maps have seen some changes. Some of them are pretty small, others are a bit bigger. At the dam for surface tension, for example, the bridge to this little tower here doesn't break anymore, and the layout seems to have slightly changed in the area right before the cliffside section. Oh, and the chapter select screen? Oh boy, the chapter select screen is a real lifesaver. You're easily able to select the chapter you want to play and jump into it just like that. No more having to look up on Google what the first map of the surface tension chapter is called. I do think I would prefer a regular menu though. I mean, this system is pretty cute at first, but it becomes a little clunky real fast. You see, you select a chapter by rotating the wheel by pressing the E key and then you press the space bar to jump into the selected chapter. The wheel only goes one way so you can see that it could become really annoying if you want to select one of the later chapters in the game. And there are a few other nitpicks that I have with this mod so far. Some doors in the Unforeseen Consequences chapter have seemingly disappeared. Sometimes the AI upscale textures and the extra detail layer just disappear from one map load to another, and I'm not sure what's going on with some of the animations in the game, but they feel a little off sometimes. Like they're animating faster than intended. Now, of course, this mod still very clearly wears its alpha badge on every demo released so far, so bugs and glitches are to be expected. I have no doubt that Hezus is going to fix these things eventually. And honestly, that's all I have to say about Half-Life Enriched. You do have to play it for yourself to see all of the changed details and improvements. I definitely didn't talk about everything, so there's always more to be discovered. What do you think of Half-Life Enriched? Do you think it's an improvement, or do you think it really doesn't do all that much? And what do you think of all these Half-Life improvement projects suddenly popping up? Let me know in the comments, I'll be reading them on the toilet in the office tomorrow. Now, if you'd excuse me, I'm going to enrich myself with some good night's sleep. I've been pretty tired lately, so I do think I really need it.